Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. Today I am doing a what I eat in a day video. I am just gonna be showing you what I eat throughout the day on a ketogenic diet. I already had a cup of black coffee this morning and I just finished a big 24 ounce mason jar of electrolytes. I had the watermelon salt by Element and now I am getting ready to eat my first meal. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this video. I am having two chaffles this morning that I pre-made. I pre-make a bunch of chaffles and I will just put them in a big Ziploc baggie and I just store them in the refrigerator. And then when I'm ready for a chaffle, I will just put them in the air fryer for a few minutes and crisp them up. And I have on these two chaffles, I have some mascarpone cheese. This is very similar to cream cheese. This is zero carbs. And I also have some everything but the bagel seasoning that I put on top of that. And I also have a cup of coffee. This is Nespresso. That is why there is foam on top of this. And I am putting two of my little brown butter bites that I made recently. And these I store in the refrigerator. They're just butter that has been browned on the stove very, very slowly and then poured into molds. I put a little bit of vanilla extract in these right at the end before I poured them to the molds. And they really give the coffee a rich, creamy, kind of a vanilla, vanilla flavor. So this is what I'm having for my first meal. I'll see you in just a little bit. So right now I'm out for a walk. I'm walking my dog and all the dogs in the neighborhood are barking at my dog right now. I don't know if you can hear that. I already recorded a video. It's coming out either Monday or Tuesday of this week. I am wanting to incorporate some more fitness back into my lifestyle. I've kind of been slacking lately and you'll hear more about that in that video about what I want to do. And so today I decided the sun was out and shining that I would get out and walk the dog. So I'm starting back and this is holding me accountable. And so, um, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that video coming out this week on what I want to do for the month of March. So I'm just going to finish my walk now and I'll see you soon. Sapphira. My little fluffy girl needs a little grooming. I groom her myself and I'll probably be getting to that later on this week as well. She needs a little, little bit of a haircut. Her hair is getting really long right now. So we're going to enjoy our walk and I'll see you soon. So we are back from our walk. It felt really good to be out getting some fresh air and some sunshine. It's so nice to have the sun out here in Michigan. And I am having a snack. I'm going to be having a Too Good yogurt. This is the lemon. I love the lemon. It's so fresh tasting. It's really good. And so I'm going to have this and a big glass of water and that is gonna be it until dinner time probably. So I will be back when I have my dinner. So I am making a really easy, simple recipe today for dinner. I'm making breaded chicken strips in the air fryer. I have three chicken breasts that I cut up into strips here. You can also use chicken tenderloin. I just didn't have any, so I went ahead and cut up some chicken breast. I have two beaten eggs here, and then I have some pork rinds here. I'm using Porking Good Cajun style pork uh, pork rind crumbs. You can use any kind of pork rinds that you want. You can crush them up yourself, but I like these because they already have all the seasonings in them and they're clean ingredients. So I am going to be using these today. I don't have to put any salt. I don't have to put any paprika or anything else because it's all in this mix. I will link this down below but you can use any kind of pork rinds that you want. I also have some grated Parmesan cheese mixed in with this. And so all I'm gonna do is take the chicken breast and put it in the egg wash and dip it in the crumbs and put it in my air fryer basket. These are gonna be made today in the air fryer and that's how I'm doing it. So I will go ahead and do all of these and I will meet you over at the air fryer. So I have these in my Z-Star air grill and I am going to put these on air crisp and I'm gonna leave them for about 20 minutes and then I'll check on them and see how they're doing. So I'm having dinner and here are my chicken tenders. Look how good they look. 
nice and crispy. And then I am pairing it with Caesar salad. This is made with the Caesar dressing that I have over on my website. And I am actually going to be dipping in the Caesar dressing as well. I like it better than ranch. It's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and try these. Hopefully I won't burn my mouth. They're really hot. Very good. Nice and crispy. Took 22 minutes in the air fryer at 400 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and I'll be back. Well, this is what I'm having for my dessert. I have actually put some hot water in this cup and I have a little espresso pod. So I'm putting a little shot of espresso in here and I'm gonna be putting some Element chocolate caramel salt in here. So this was mostly hot water, a little shot of espresso and I have some heavy whipping cream that I am gonna put in here my little frother. Get it all mixed up. And I'm going to try it out. It's very hot. Tastes so good. I can taste the espresso in there and the chocolate and the heavy whipping cream all together. It's like a coffee house mocha. It's so delicious. I have to tell you, the chicken tenders were so delicious, and because they are coated in the pork rinds, which adds fat, they were very filling. I gave my husband four, I had three, we could barely finish what we had on our plate. So they were very good, and I will definitely be making them again. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go enjoy my hot drink here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll have a video coming out in the next day or so that will be talking about what I may be doing for the month of March. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Have a great night. Thanks for watching and God bless.